Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video for this person here. Suspicious FPV, fantastic name. He was asking about, can you set up a momentary switch to do something like a handbrake on the Fireteam 6? Now I did ask him what the brake actually did and he explained that it was actually a servo that moved that acted like a brake on part of the vehicle. The answer of course is yes, you can. This is Edge TX on this Radio Master MT12. It's pretty easy to set up. So, suspicious FPV, this one is for you. Now, I have a basic car set up here, so we're going to press model and go into the model menu, scroll across, and we're going to go into the mixes where we can add additional controls in. At the moment, I've only got steering and throttle set up on here, but let's say we were going to plug the servo into another channel. So let's say we're going to plug it into channel four, then I press and hold the enter key and it's going to bring up all of the details for us to add that additional control. If you press enter, you're able to actually set a name. I'd recommend doing a, a name that you remember. So something like, I don't know, BRK might work here. Remember that if you press and hold enter, then it will change the, uh, the case of the thing you're doing. With that set, we'll just exit out. We'll come down and we'll select the source so it's flashing and I'll press the momentary switch that's actually here where your thumb is, SC. I'll press that in once and you'll see that it's changed to SC on the screen. So again, if we just hit enter, then that's all done. If we just escape all the way out of that back to the very top menu, you can now see that as I press SC, you'll see the value here changing as I press it in. And that is, what we can use to move the servo from the unhandbrake position to the handbrake position. Now, a servo will typically have two positions that you want it to be in, in order for it to control something like a brake. So we'll have to have two specific PWM values. Now, the way that I'd get that would be plug that servo into a servo tester and use that servo tester to just check what those two PWM values need to be. Now, we'll assume that it needs to be the off value is something like 1200 and the on value needs to be 1800. Those are the two values. How do we set those up to make sure that the servo moves those positions? What we can do, go back into the menu, go back and just remind ourselves that it's channel four we're interested. That's where we have the break. We're gonna go into the output selection. Now this on the radio is where we can do things specifically around things like servos. So we'll select channel four and press enter and we'll say edit. And here we can still see at the value at the top right hand corner what the value of the channel is. This is the minimum value that we need. So we're going to change that number, the minus number, until that number here in the corner reads the right one. So I think we, as an example, we said it would have to be 1400. So I'm gonna keep scrolling away here until that value gets to about 1400, which we said was one of the values we need. So it's going to be minus 19.5 exit out of that. We'll hit the maximum value. And to, to just change this, I'm going to press that momentary switch. That's currently 2012. I'm going to roll that down to, I think we said we needed 1800 for the example, didn't we? Something like that. But this is how you can set it. So it's exactly the range that you want. Bang. So now you can see it's 1400 when the button isn't pressed. When I press the button, it jumps to 1800. If we come all the way out of that, we can see that on the main screen here. So there we are, channel four is now at that position until I press it, and those are the two movements. If you find, however, that that is backwards, i.e. it's moving in the wrong direction, so when you press it, you want the handbrake to work, but it's actually working the other way around. When you press it, it's taking the handbrake off. That's easy to do. What we're going to do, go back into the model menu, back into that very same screen. And this time we're going to change the direction of the channel. So highlight channel four again, say edit, and then go down to the direction, click on it. So it says inverse. And now the channel value by default will be the higher one until I press the switch and it will go down the other way. So that is the way to set this up. So Suspicious FBV, hopefully that helps it for you. Isn't too tricky to do. And actually the only thing I would recommend is if you haven't already got yourself a servo checker, get one of those. If you haven't got one, you can absolutely do this iteratively, but there is a chance you could overdrive the servo and make it very unhappy. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless360 to your search terms will help you find my content. 
If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.